You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Super excited to check out another popcorn popper with you today. But first, let me take care of a few things. I want to say thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're not a subscriber, please do. And if you are and you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help. It is the Junior Chef See It Popcorn Popper. Now, I have done another Junior Chef Popcorn Popper or similar one um, to this one, but this one is different, different shape, a little bit different design overall. It is from Coleco for ages eight and above. Let's see the side here. We always can get more information. There's definitely some on the back here. Safety design. Junior Chef products are designed for the enjoyment and safety of children and incorporate these safety design features. Ooh, it's like a plug here. Ooh, safe to grip plug. Molded transparent cover treated with with withstands high temperatures, safe to touch. No oil required. A hundred watt, one hundred twenty volt AC bulb. Let's see. Not much more here. One to three ounce bag. Okay, so that's everything that's included with this one here. And then here is other makers that they have in their line of products. Now, I have a couple of these. Maybe not these exact ones, but other makers like this. Now, they are giving this a number. If you see on the top, ooh, excuse me there, it says number 7280. I'll have to check to see what that other one was, but that's it for the box. I will come back now, have it out of the box, set up. And then we will take a look at the popcorn popper and make popcorn today. All right, here we go. I did not mention that this is from around 1973. There was an instruction sheet, but I did not have a copy available in this one or my other one. But I know how they work, so we'll just run with that. Now, the other one was rounded shape, like almost like a fluted type plastic. This one is more rectangular, as you can see. And then the other one had a spinner on it that would spin the bottom. Had one like this too, but it had a metal piece inside that lets you spin it around. This one's not meant to spin around from what I notice. It's just up and down. Now, looking inside this one, I've had this one apart uh, to change the light bulb and check the light bulb. Well, let me just show you. It might be easier to show you how this all works. Oh, by the way, there is the measuring spoon and the little bags that originally came with it. Now, these are kind of in bad shape, so I will not use them. So I will take this out. This is just so that I can show you how this works. I wasn't planning on doing this till right now, so. Okay, so this comes off. As you can see now, there is a basket in here. And this basket, so the popcorn's popping in here, and there's an opening here, so the popcorn will shoot out here and then fall into this section here. This, should come off. It took me a little bit to do that. And it'll take me a little to get it back on, but at least you can see inside how this all works. For those of you that like to see. And then there is my 100 watt light bulb in there. Okay. So what I was saying, it does take a little bit to get this to fit on correctly. These are all things you kind of have to work with when you're dealing with a vintage toy like this. This piece stays in there. I have cleaned this. And then this can go back on now. So now you kind of have at least that idea. And those would get screwed back on. So as the popcorn is popping, I will show you a big reference here. Now normally I don't put these back in with an electric tool, but I am not going to go down all the way. I'll tighten that. So the popcorn is popping in there. You will see that opening. It's going to come out and then fills up that bottom section and you lift this to retrieve your popcorn like that. I don't think there's much more to it than that. It doesn't really move much more. Let's just look at the bottom real quick. It's kind of what's there. Not much more than that. So that's really it. Now back to these bags so I can show you why I'm not going to use them today. They are discolored, but at least you could see what an original popcorn bag was like when this was being sold to kids. So that's that. Can't use it. Don't want to use it. I will put a bowl or have to capture my popcorn another way. So when I come back then, I am all set. We will make some popcorn. Let me do this. I will plug it in now. Now normally you don't have to heat these up, but I'm going to just so that we can 
speed up the popping process. So I'll be back with the popcorn and we'll make fresh popcorn. All right, here we go. I am going to use this Black Jewel Popcorn Native Mix, which has three different uh, colors and it. it. looks like there's a yellow, a white, and a red popcorn. Now I've used the other versions of this and thought this would be good today to try out. And then we'll give you a top-down view. And as you can see, it's pretty tall. It's at least 12 inches tall. Now this looks a little small, so I'm gonna do a couple of these. That's not much popcorn, is it? Let's just see how it goes down. Okay, I'll do two. It says it's a tablespoon, but I don't know, it just doesn't feel like it to me. All right, so now, let me get the ones that fell. They actually fit through pretty good. I thought maybe they'd be too big. It's kind of a neat color to see inside there. I don't know if you can get a good shot of the colors in there. And now I will just let this go and then uh, I'll take out the time it takes up to popping and then I might just turn it around but at least you can watch it pop now. Hmm, what's the best side? Alright, we'll just let that sit like that and then I'll edit as I need and we'll just see what happens. All right, I am back. Let's just see. There's a good amount in there. Now, as I put my hand here, I do feel the heat on the top. Now, it's not untouchable, so what they're saying is correct. But look at all the popcorn I have. Pretty good. Now, if I lift this, I should be able to kind of move it all. There's almost maybe just one kernel that's barely even that. It looks like everything popped. There, all right, I do want to make another batch, but look at how much is in there, that's pretty good. So let me do this, let me change the perspective here, come back, we'll pop one more batch. I'll speed this one up a little bit quicker, but I do want more popcorn. All right, here goes batch number two. I'm gonna do the same amount, about two of these. This kind of looks like, it says one teaspoon. I thought it was a tablespoon, but it's a teaspoon. So I'm actually doing two teaspoons, but let's up it one more here. Let's go daring here. Now it could be that this is the wrong one for this set. Maybe it was a different one. Two. And three. Maybe someone throughout its life switched it or replaced it. All right, and then the ones that fell on the table, here we go. And I'm gonna turn the camera down. I'll do the same thing. Kind of nice seeing the colors in there. And we'll just watch it pop. All right, let's take a look. You can see there are a few more unpopped ones this round, but not a lot. That cleans off really nice. So I'm gonna melt some butter, come back, put this in a bowl, and then maybe grab a drink too and taste it now. So we'll see how it came out. All right, I felt like Pepsi today. I don't know why. I do have Pepsi and Coke in the house. So now what I noticed with the bottom of this is that you don't have a lot of height. This just fits and it's probably three inches tall, so you have to find something that will fit under there, or 
you hang this over the table edge, and then you fill your bags that way, which I'm guessing that could be. And then getting it out, you kind of have to do this, I guess. Yeah, I'm hearing more kernels than I thought, so some probably slip through the cracks here. Get that all out. There we go. It's a nice, healthy batch there for teaspoons. And then, let's see here, let's get in closer. I have a little bit, well, let me do this. Let me get my, my soda open, or pop, whatever you call it, pop or soda. Nice Pepsi going on in the background there. And then back to the popcorn. Let's just kind of investigate what we have here in kernels. Now I'm one that usually goes digging down and eats the ones that are on the bottom that are... And you can see a color difference here. I know it's hard with the lighting and everything, but there are some more yellowed ones in the batch. So those colored kernels do make a difference. Uh, these are the ones I like. Now this is the point where you're going to say either you don't mind chewing or you hate the sound of chewing. I'm going to chew, okay? It's kind of natural in a video like this to chew. This is probably one of my favorite kinds, just a little as smallest one. I think I saw one here and here, and then I'll push these in so you can see better. But I think we got them. Uh-oh. I still hear one somewhere over here. You can kind of hear them when you move around. I'll take that one out. Oh, there's there's three or four more. So, did it pop pretty good? I'm gonna say yes. Are there some non-poppers? Yes. I don't think I've ever had a popcorn machine pop every single kernel. Some just don't wanna cooperate. So I'm about to eat and chew and drink, and it's not something I purposely try to emphasize. It's just that's the way the camera picks it up. There we go. Okay, so here's everything. I picked out. Now these I would probably eat first thing because they're pretty much broke. They won't hurt your teeth. These will definitely hurt your teeth. Okay, so this is what I ended up with. You see the yellow and then the red ones. So that's kind of, you know, let me grab a couple here. If you remember correctly, I thought there was like three colors. There was these red ones. Kind of like a, a, a whiter and a yellow, or it's hard to see. But I think this is more yellow, more white, and red. So I think that's kind of why you get a little difference in color here. Let me get my little, 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 little difference, little butter. Here, let me mix this up a little bit. I'm not going to use it all. But I will use half of that. And then some salt. And kind of see how much comes out so not a lot comes out on each one and then I like to kind of just give it a, a little bit more there okay salt mix it up all right so there is my popcorn I'm gonna say it works pretty good remember it's a kids toy so it's something where parents can just let their kids do it. You're not using a stovetop or something that uh, requires a lot more heat. Or you could burn yourself. All right, here we go. Eating time. Eating and sipping. That is good popcorn. I like the crunchiness that it gets from a light bulb, believe it or not. Sometimes when you make popcorn, you get that chewy because it was a moisture issue. Mmm. Sip. All right. This is my afternoon snack. I will finish this. And thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I had fun making it for you, and if you enjoy these kinds of videos of me testing vintage kids toy makers, there's a lot of them. If you're a subscriber, you would know. I constantly try to do these as many as possible, 
So looking at the description of the playlist there, thanks for supporting Lucky Penny Shop, by the way. It's really appreciated. Later! I decided, for those of you that don't mind chewing, I'm going to chew these for you because you'll hear the sound. I have strong teeth, by the way. Here we go. Ready? Heavy chewing. Little nuggets of goodness. Later! If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.